Hello everyone, Tyler Robertson here with Diesel Laptops talking about some of our advanced truck parts tools. The one I want to talk to you today is about our part number cleanup tool. So what this tool is meant to do is take a list of part numbers that you've obtained from somewhere. Could be you have a quote that you're working on for a large customer. It could be the fact that you inherited a messed up inventory that you're trying to fix. Or maybe you're selling parts and you have a customer that has a complete disaster of an inventory. They have a bunch of parts, they don't know what they are or what they fit or what they cross to and you want to help the guy out. Well, step number one, when you have a mess like that, is figuring out what the right part number is. So I'm going to show you how this tool does this and how we clean up these part number lists. In this case, we have a list of about 2,000 part numbers. And you'll see we have three columns. We have our column with the part number, we have our column with the description, and we have our column with the manufacturer. This particular uh, vendor actually sent us in their source code. Not too terribly important. We kind of ignore all those columns to the right of it. So those three are important. And what we want to do is we want to clean these up. We want to figure out, are these the right part numbers the manufacturer has or that vendor has, whoever it was, and what do we do with them? So here is how this tool works. You simply go into here, and you would go into Truck Parts Cross, and you would go to your cleanup section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over this file that you just saw. And the step number one, it says, hey, match those manufacturers from your list to our list. So I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to go start typing them in, right? They had CR. We don't have it under CR. We have it under Chicago Rawhide, right? They have it under DDE. -D -D -E -E. We don't. We have it under Detroit Diesel, right? So if you ran across one that you just couldn't find, you can just click this little box here, and that will search our entire database for those part numbers. But in this case, let's just stick with Cummins. We hit Accept. And what it's doing now is it's going to load a list of all the part numbers that were on that spreadsheet, all 2,000 of them. It's doing it in the background at the very bottom of the page that you can't see. And what you do as a parts manager or whoever's using this tool is you would go through and you want to make sure they match. So if they're coming up automatically like these ones are, um, this is your what you uploaded. This is what our system's matching with. All you want to do is just go through this list and kind of take a quick peek if you want to. These should match perfectly if they're already in our system. If not, um, go down here. And you'll see this is already different, right? They have ABP slash. We're saying we're going to do it without a slash because not all dealers use that slash when they're selling those parts. So we go down this list and we're looking for these blank ones, right? And then we're going we're gonna to click on them and then we're going to figure out which of those part numbers we should actually be using. So as you see, we get down through here. There's quite a bit. And I'm going to go all the way past all these Alliance brand parts and kind of go down. So here's what I'm gonna do. I don't need to show you 2,000 part numbers. I'm gonna go through and kind of pause the video as we go through and talk about some of these. So we'll be right back. So example number one is this particular part here. This is a, a set of air hoses for a truck and trailer. Uh, the reason there's multiple options is because they came in multiple part numbers. So we have this N, you know, N42AAC15, that's fine. There's also some other ones down here, like this B probably means a blue, blue one only, a R is probably a red one. So we just go through and pick. And that's all we're doing as we're going through this thing is making sure we have the exact right part numbers that we have. So I'll pause it again and show you a couple more examples. All right, I made my way down here through some Bendix part numbers. So the customer has a BW0OR uh, with a slash in there. Again, in our system, we try to strip out all those things, and there's multiple options. X is, I'm assuming, the reman, and we have a non-reman. So again, I'm just going through here, cleaning up, matching exactly what that customer has, and going through this list. So obviously, there's a lot of different possible variations of those part numbers and things that can happen. But it really doesn't take too long to go through the list when you're really kind of cruising through it. Uh, this is going to be 2,000 part numbers, and I'm probably going to spend all of about 5 or 10 minutes doing this. And again, let's pause it, and we'll kind of flip you over to the next screen here as well and show you what happens next. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to hit Submit Request. And you'll see up here in the upper right corner what it's going to do is basically tell me, yep, great, your, your, your report's been generated, and it'll be emailed to you. Now, I've kind of already cheated and did this once so that the email will come through and you're not sitting here waiting. So let's look at some of the, some of the inventory. So that was our original list, and this is the matched. So, again, all this tool does is take a dirty list of part numbers and attempt to tell you what they are. Right? Maybe you didn't have descriptions, maybe you didn't know the manufacturer, maybe you weren't sure what, what they were or where they go. So that's what this tool does. So again, this is the stuff you already imported, the stuff you already had on your list. These are the things we tell you. 
All right. So we give you some good information there to really help you uh, figure out what to do. And with that good part number list, you can do a lot of things now. You can put into our mass cross tool. You can run some of our other advanced parts functions. You can decide, look at VRMS codes. You can do all kinds of things with those things. So not only that, but we give you a second list as well. This is the list of part numbers that did not match in our system that we could not find. Maybe you picked the wrong manufacturer. Maybe that part number is not in our database. But as you can see, of over 2,000 part numbers we uploaded, there's only about 20 of them that actually weren't in our system. And I can promise you this, every time we get a no search result, someone on our back end is looking to do this. So again, that's the real quick and overview on our parts cleanup tool. Hope it's a value to you and you can find a use for it in the market. Thank you for watching.